this is an in-depth look at the Widgetsoid application, which is available for free, as well as a, in a paid version on the Android market. And this is a great app for customizing the look of your home screen, as well as adding a lot of functionality into a small area on your home screen. And this works on Android versions 1.x and 2.x. Um, here I have the market page for the 2.x version since uh, I am using an Android uh, HTC Evo 4G I'm using the 2.x version but if you're running an older version of Android uh, then you can download the Widgetsoid 1.x version which is for older versions of Android and again as I said there's a free version if you want to check it out as well as a paid version which gives you a, l a little more functionality so let's just jump right into what this app can let you do so I'm gonna go to my home screen here and you can see we've got a lot of uh, cool icons and uh, some toggles down here some more here and then I have some contacts here some applications on this side a nice looking clock uh, battery notification and a network indicator on this right side over here and all of these are widgetsoid widgets and so you can see a lot of uh, diverse looks you can get using the app and what I'm going to do is go ahead and just show you on a blank home screen here how to modify and how to create modify and play with essentially the application to your heart's content so let's just long press on an empty spot here that gives us the pop-up to add a widget so select widgets and you're gonna scroll all the way down to the W's because that's where widgetsoid is at so you can see here uh, widgetsoid lets you do a clock because you saw a clock on my home screen indicator is the battery indicator or the network indicator for your network signal and then you have mixed which gives you the clock as well as the battery and the signal then we have what are called the switchers these one by one two three four five these are one column by one row two rows three rows four rows etc etc so these are vertical switchers and then here these are the horizontal switchers and uh, so for this video I'm gonna choose a four columns by one row since my home screen has four columns and you can see we have this uh, window well the, the application pops up once you select the size of widget that you would like to use and the background kind of looks like the stock um, power control widget that comes with Android but as you'll see as I go through this video this lets you customize it way beyond what the power control widget uh, looks like and can do so on this one I'm gonna add I want Wi-Fi I'm gonna be able to turn on and off Wi-Fi Bluetooth my mobile data and uh, you see there's a little pop-up that said go to the global preferences I'll get into that a little later I want to be able to turn on and off my 4G as well as my data sync and uh, what else do I have my screen I'm going to be able to adjust the brightness and you can see check global preferences if you want to choose a different mode uh, again I will talk about global preferences a little bit later and also if you notice up here at the top this is a four column widget but I've already got six up here and um, let's say I, I don't like uh, where my 4G icon is um, I'm gonna just select on that and you get this other pop up here so you can move the icons around so I'm gonna move that guy over to the far left just as easy as that hit the back button you can also change 
the icons. Um, so let's say I don't like this Wi-Fi icon. Select that, and this is um, something. The icon thing is something you can only do in the paid version, but um, it's pretty cool to be able to do that. And the icon, there's additional icons you can purchase as well. Um, as you see here, it has alternative icons, and those are really cheap in the Android market as well. So definitely worth checking out. Uh, select alternative icons, and you can see we have a an assortment of icons here that we can choose instead of your standard Wi-Fi icon. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one because I think that looks pretty cool. And there we go. The icon has changed. This little scroll menu down here lets you add other things as well. Um, you can do shortcuts to applications, to contacts. Uh, if you looked at, back at my home screen, um, I had a, a icon with Homer Simpson on it. That is a shortcut to Homer Simpson's Twitter account. Um, so again, pretty cool. And theme, which again, from my home screen, I had a, a bunch of different looking uh, widgets. You can change if the corners are rounded or square, if there's lines separating them or not. Um, icons always highlight. If you have that turned off, let's say I decide to turn off my Wi-Fi, this icon here will go to like sort of a ghost see-through uh, type image to let you know that it's turned off. Um, but if I have it always highlight, then it's always going to look like this the way it does in the top here. Um, so I like having that turned off just because it's easier to just look and know what's turned on and what isn't. You can show the labels. And um, so as you can see, Bluetooth kind of wraps around. I personally don't like the way that looks, so I select the icon from the top. Again, we get this pop-up. And this time I'm going to modify the label. And I'm just going to call this blue. So I'll select OK. And you can see at the top, the icon's label has indeed changed to blue. You can customize the background. Uh, the stock options are gray, white, or none. Um, and then you can do custom color, which gives you this nice uh, color wheel. So you can, you know, pick any color you want, basically. And so, pretty cool. Um, that's what it'll look like if you select the color. And I'm going to just go with no background for this. I do want to change my icon color. Let's make those black. And the indicator at the bottom will also be shown if that option is turned on or off. So I'm going to make that bottom color green. You can see the colors change, and that green kind of looks a little similar to the power widget that is uh, stock on Android. And I think that's okay. So, uh, one more button here is the advanced option. Some of the options you have here is modifiable. If I check that, you see that little uh, sort of sprocket has come up in the top there and what that'll let me do is I can just touch that little sprocket on the widget itself and it'll pop me back into this application and I can edit the widget just from my home screen so I like to turn that on because it makes editing widgets quick and easy uh, notification this is pretty cool this will actually put this whole uh, widget up into your notification tray. As you can see, I have one up there already, and uh, pretty convenient if you have a widget that you just want to be able to access on the fly, no matter what program you're in, without having to exit that program. Uh, again, you can put that in your notification bar. So, widget invisible is if you only want the widget to show up 
up here in the notification bar, but you do not want it to show up on your home screen. You go ahead and select Widget Invisible and uh, Widget Name. You can give this thing a name. Um, the reason you want to name that is because I'm going to go over here to Profiles. So as you can see, I have a couple of different profiles saved here. And if I want to save this current profile, I got to give it a name. So it gives it a stock name, but 977 doesn't really mean much to me. So I'm just going to call this uh, Invisible. That's a cool sounding name. Is a bull. There we go. Select OK. And as you can see, I now have Invisible saved on here. Um, so now that it's saved, let's go ahead and hit Apply. And it, it asks, do you want to edit global preferences? These are preferences that apply to all the widgets that you have on your home screens. And also gives you a little more control. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. First, I want to show you what this widget's going to look like on my home screen. And then we'll come back and go into global preferences. So for right now, just select no. And as you can see, here it is on my home screen. Uh, like I said, the, the features that are turned off are kind of see-through icons, ghost-looking icons, and the notification on the bottom is not turned on as well. Um, go back to the screen. Again, like I said, lots of different options to customize. I've got some vertical widgets here. These are just shortcuts to applications. These are just shortcuts to applications that I used uh, different icons on. Uh, and then I've made just a, a little s switcher here for widget suite itself. So I'm going to actually use that um, to edit this as well as other widgets but since we did select modifiable there is a little sprocket in the top right corner that takes you back into the configuration for this widget so I'm gonna go back do you want to quit widget so it all unsaved widget modification will be lost yes we want to quit we haven't modified anything so I'm gonna go back here and select my little widget soid guy. So this is the global modifications. Tons of more op tons more options in here. Um, about just tells you about the version you're running. Got an FAQ in here. Info is really cool. Gives you a lot of information about your phone. Uh, what, uh, how much memory you're using off your memory card, uh, the model number, the version of Android you're running. As you can see, I'm running 2.2, .2, which is why I'm using Widgetsoid 2.x. So if I go back, um, if I select widgets, let's see, it's pulling up all the widgets on my phone which I have a lot of widgets so this is going to take a little while so you can see it's pulled up the widgets that are on my phone on my home screen I should say and you can edit them from here which is pretty cool so I'm going to select that one that I just created and then use this little pencil down here to go back into the edit screen and let's say I change my mind and I do want to have this thing in my notification tray so I go to advanced and I select notification just hit OK for that because we've already saved this previously so now I do a pull down it's not up there oh I didn't hit apply oops well let me save this guy first so the way you save a current widget is I called this invisible so if I select invisible again you select update 
and it will update the profile with any changes you have made. So if I select yes, profile has been updated, then I go to apply, and you can see the notification tray at the top went blank for a second. If I do a pull down, you can see those are now in my notification tray. One thing you might notice is that these icons aren't colorful, they're kind of grayed out, and this widget up here, the little green bars that we had made underneath are not there. And the, the reason they show up that way is because in global configuration, there is uh, settings that you can apply to your notification widgets that are different than the on-screen widgets. So let me show you that real quick. Let's put that back up. And I'm going to hit the back button. And so we're still here in the global configuration mode. I'm going to select notification. And if I scroll down, you can see here it says choose bottom color as white. If I select green, which is what I had initially when I made that uh, widget, you can see it says configuration saved on the bottom. Now if I pull down my notification tray, again, those little bars that were on the bottom on my home screen widget will now show up on the top. Um, as far as these being grayed out like that, pull this guy back up, go down. You see down here it says add color filter, change color of applications and contacts to look like other icons. I have that selected. If I unselect that, you see it says configuration saved again, and I pull down, you can see those icons are now in their original colors. So just some cool uh, features that you can change on your notification widgets so that they can be different than your on-screen widgets. I'm going to turn this back on since I kind of like the grayed out look. And I'm going to put this back on white. Um, So if I do the pull down again, you could see again um, they look the way they did when I initially added them to the notification bar. So that is a very cool feature. Um, like I said, if you have applications that you just need to have shortcuts to really quickly at all times, that's a great option. Also, toggles. Um, again, if you need to be able to switch your Wi-Fi on and off all the time, quickly and you don't want to be going to your home screen, you don't want to be digging through menus, you've got it right there in your notification tray available to you, quick and easy. And that's pretty much the the, the basics of it. Um, one more thing, this notification option in Widgetsoid lets you change how the the widget looks here versus how it looks on your home screen. So pretty, uh, pretty nice feature there. Um, yeah, so this has been a very in-depth look at Widgetsoid. Um, it's definitely gives you a lot of options to customize the look of your phone. Again, lets you add lots of functionality into small amounts of space and just gives your phone a cool different look than what you know you might be used to or what other people have seen so again this has been Widgetsoid um, I'll put a link to the market page in the description of the video and if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in other videos um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and look for widget soy in the marketplace and don't be shy on spending a couple of bucks on it it is definitely worth it in my opinion and um, go check it out so that concludes this video
Thanks a lot.